I've heard tales of your kind, Witcher. You're a mutant. Created by magic. Roaming the continent. We don't want your kind here. Hunting monsters. For a price. I thought you'd have fangs or horns or something. I had them filed down. <laughs> People call you a monster too. Why not kill them? Because then I am what they say I am. All of our choices draw our destinies closer. If he is out there, there is still hope. Judge me. They say witches can't feel human emotion. What do you believe in? Yes. Yes. Lesser. Greater. Middling. It's all the same. Princess Cirilla is your destiny. I can't protect her. If you dismiss it, get out! You will unleash true calamity upon us all. I'll take that chance. <laughs> oh my gosh so that was the second trailer for the witcher which you just see it gets an official december 20, 20 2019 release date mm. it's coming out this year we can binge all eight episodes before the end of the year it's a great holiday treat for everyone i think that trailer was a great pre-holiday treat what does everybody think that's a story trailer right there. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> yes. the Witcher. If, if you were concerned that, you know, that's not my Witcher, that <laughs> is your Witcher right there. Henry Cavill, well done. I, first, first impressions. I'm a couple thoughts. Number one, it looks gorgeous. Like the scope and scale looks great. I think, you know, we've talked a lot about how uh, this is drawing a lot from the first book of short stories and you see a lot of mm -hmm. that. You see like Calanth, you see Renfrey, you see mm -hmm. a lot of those little notes uh, in there. But like, I'm really excited that it does seem like they're getting to the heart of the Siri Yennefer Geralt storyline. Mm -hmm. Like this is the first thing that has sold me on the chemistry between mm -hmm. Freya and Henry um, at, who are playing, right? That is it Freya? No, no Anya. 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 Yeah, yeah, Anya, Anya, yeah. Anya and Henry. Sorry, um, the the actresses, pl the actress playing uh, Yennefer and Geralt, and obviously like we see the bath scene. But I love. There's a couple moments like that where you can just feel the fire. Between They're so those flirty. Two characters. I love it. I love it. They it's have so to good. be so flirty. Yeah. And I know that you know. Of course, this is based off of the books, right? Um, the 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 several novels that Andrzej Sapkowski wrote, but. That bathtub scene, I mean, that's just, you can't help but think Witcher it's 3. It's you iconic. Can't help, you can't help. It's iconic shot. The, no, they're definitely clearly tying, like, they're, they're winking and nodding to fans of the games, which is really nice and comforting, I think, for a lot of people, especially our audience. So that's really cool. But one thing that I'm super stoked about is that they're treating the Witcher as, like, a pariah, a social outcast. You know, it's not just a grand adventure. He's going to kill monsters and, he, oh, he saved the day. It's it's very much like, no, you are you are a monster, too, and we don't like you, Witcher. Mm -hmm. And he's still kind of doing his job. People are throwing stones at him. Yeah, yeah and, and that looks like it's the whole, like, Renfri uh, thing that... that um, In like Blaviken. This, exactly, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like that's what that entire sequence is. Uh, I think it's interesting, and it is really smart to start farther back than, like, the main five-book saga because you need him going off and actually witching you know, like mm -hmm. being a witcher around um, around the continent to establish kind of like the tensions that you really get into between uh, people trying to get Siri. Um, but I am glad and, and interested in how they're moving up some of the series series storylines. Yeah. We mm -hmm. see her in the desert, which obviously comes later in the books if you've read them. Um, same with the stuff happening with Yennefer. It looks like they're really bringing up some of those mm -hmm. storylines earlier, and I'm I'm yeah. curious, like chronologically, how that yeah, will. The all cool play thing out. is uh, we got to talk to Lauren uh, Hisrick, uh, the showrunner at Comic Con, and the 
great thing is she said that she had to kind of add more to Siri's story. So I think we're going to see a lot more of her at Sintra because in the, especially in the, the main saga, the five books there, we don't really get a lot of Siri in Sintra. It's kind of like escape, you know, run, you know, hang out with the Witcher. So I'm excited to get more of her backstory filled out. Well, it looked like we got a brief <clears throat> shot of her in Broccolian Forest. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I've read the books. I yeah. can listen to audiobooks. I don't know how to pronounce it all correctly. And then it looks like we see the fall of Sintra yeah. happening yes, there yes, too, yes. which was like so, mm-hmm. so badass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, th- I think the, it's kind of, it, it, based on what we we've seen so far with these two trailers there's a couple omissions from uh the last wish that i think makes sense like i don't see nivalan the beauty and the beast storyline nor do i see the devil storyline mm. so i think they're going to forego those chapters from the book in order to pull from future books and i think that really makes sense so we do know we're going to get the lesser evil we know we're going to get the story about the the urchin of erlenwald and then um, the Striga storyline. Mm-hmm. So I think those serve as like beautiful tent poles in what will establish, I think, the tone and the stakes for the entire series. Uh, it's almost like giving the show side quests because you're going <laughs> to yeah. have you're going to have the main through line, the big yeah. five book saga, and then you have these side stories where he goes off and and you know uh, interacts with the town and kills a monster, and you're going to see how they react to him. It's going to give him a backstory. I think it's a smart way to uh, guide the show forward. No, I know, like this, li- that was our first time watching right, it. Yeah. We like ran in <laughs> yeah. here at 9 a.m. when it dropped, so this is like very, very, very <laughs> much first impressions. <laughs> um, we will have like a full deep right. dive trailer breakdown where we'll catch all those tiny details that we missed, but you might uh, have caught but yeah I am I am excited that it feels like we're getting those big moments but then that they also aren't shying away of stuff like the bath scene like I think they know even though they're like their bottom line is this is based on the books there is such a massive group of fans who love the games that I love that like in their second trailer they're tipping their hat to it yeah. a bit. Yeah. And they, this trailer launched at Luca Comic Con. So like they, they know the fan group that they're kind of uh, leaning into, even mm. though it went wide at the same time. I, I, that gives me hope that like they aren't completely pushing away from the games as well. Mm. They're no, being self-aware. In our interview with uh, uh, Lauren, she did kind of allude to some things like mm. that. So I, I'm, I'm very excited to see what those allusions are. And, you know, for good reason. CD Projekt Red... I would argue, revitalized the Witcher property and made it popular in the U.S. And as a result, we're getting this awesome-looking series. So this is going to be awesome. Mm-hmm. Now, shameless plug, uh, but David and Nick, <clears throat> you guys were actually on set for a couple yep. days, mm-hmm. and we'll have like a full month of Witcher coverage from your set visit, uh, mm-hmm. both pre- and post-release coming in December. Did you get to see any of these seeds? Can yes. you, ta- like, can yes, you we, talk mm-hmm. a little bit about, I don't know what. I don't what know can what you we're tease? <laughs> we We saw... I don't know what we're trying to say. We saw stuff. We... Yeah, we, we saw some action sequences. We I think saw I some of the nighttime scenes. Yeah, I recognize <laughs> some of what was going on there, but I we can't reveal that quite yet. But when it gets closer to release, we'll reveal more. How did the more. finished product look then, without revealing what you exactly oh, saw? Oh, it's so comforting. Incredible. Yeah, because <laughs> I was great. like, they're gonna like add special effects to this, <laughs> right? Because right? a lot thank happening. God people <laughs> reacting to things that aren't really there, and it's yeah. just like, oh, okay, and that's what they're reacting to. Now you can see it fully fleshed Movie out. TV magic. Yeah, that's exactly. how they do it. Yeah. I can't wait to see everything that you guys cooked up. Well, those were our first impressions of the second Witcher trailer, which is dropping on December 28th on Netflix, all eight episodes you can binge. But like Terry said before, we have more Witcher coverage. Please check out our teaser trailer of Nick and I behind the scenes at, in Budapest for the Witcher uh, filming. That'll be an IGN first coming to you soon. And we also have a trailer breakdown of the first Witcher trailer, which has some different scenes in them. So if you want some more background information on that, that's a good video to check out too. But as always, keep it locked right here on IGN.